And now comes the end of a busy two days in Hong Kong, which formed the first leg of my inaugural visit to the People's Republic of China. The purpose of the visit is to demonstrate and build upon the many political, commercial, cultural and educational links shared between Jersey and China. I was delighted to be able to support Jersey Finance at the Step Asia Conference, which brings together a number of world-leading professionals and related financial services. And it was good to see that the island's industry was well represented. It was also a pleasure to see Jersey-based Simon Morgan, the incoming worldwide chair of STEP, and I really wish him a very successful tenure. Over the past two days, I've also been holding a series of meetings to discuss Jersey's existing relationship with Hong Kong and how we can look to build upon it. It was a pleasure to meet Andrew Payne, the UK Consul General to Hong Kong, and I'd like to thank him and his team for their continuing support. I also held a productive meeting with the Financial Services and Treasury Bureau for Hong Kong in which we discussed financial services cooperation. Moving on to the digital sector, I was pleased to visit an organisation called Meta who have recently signed a co-working agreement with Digital Jersey. Yesterday we had a roundtable discussion with a number of senior figures from the local financial services sector which included consideration of how we can raise Jersey's profile in the region. And viewers will also be aware of the Call and Check initiative which aims to prevent isolation at home. It is now being trialled by the UK Home Office as part of its loneliness strategy and I was glad to hear the interest of potential partners in Hong Kong. Shortly I'll be travelling to Shanghai will be engaged on another busy programme to scope opportunities for further financial, educational and political cooperation between Jersey and China and I look forward to providing a further update then. Thank you.